Here is Haley. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Haley already. If not, she's been with CYC since the very beginning, so you'll be with, familiar with her very, very soon. Thank you for that kind introduction, Matthew. For those of you who do not know Matthew, Matthew has been with the CYC since the very beginning and is going to be emceeing with me all today. So he's also with the CYC for quite a while now. Can't seem to get rid of him. He's been here since 11th grade and is now studying his second year of university at the Broughton School of Commerce in University of Toronto. Amazing. Thanks so much for the introduction, Haley. It's always a pleasure to be back involved with the CYC. Such a great group of people. Now we do have a quick video to show you guys. Uh, just kind of like run down the CYC program and the partnerships that we have and awards available. So we're just going to play this one right now. So yeah, for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar, uh, the CYC award is basically an award that allows you to go to Cambridge and study there for two weeks. And it's the summer, it's like an all paid, uh, fully expensed vacation. Now, uh, well, like, you guys to study one of the world's best schools and we're so glad and privileged to have this partnership with Cambridge. Right. Time, so we'll go through this presentation right now and just see like what the CYC award entails. So without further ado, let's get right into the event right now. So first of all, I'd like to pass it to Haley to kind of just like acknowledge uh, everyone who has been with us and supported us on the journey. Okay, so a little story time, guys. So when I was 11 years old over COVID, I played League of Legends for the first and last time. And it wasn't that, when I logged onto the game for the first time, I got dissed so hard for being really bad at the game. But it wasn't just because I kept dying every five seconds or because I kept inting my team. It was because I was a woman. So uh, misogyny and discrimination is still highly prevalent in today's society. It was definitely far worse in the past when women had far fewer rights. But even today, it's still very highly prevalent. And it's very important that we acknowledge and recognize all the achievements that women have um, been able to make, all the breakthroughs that they've been able to achieve throughout the years. And we're going to be doing that today, where we acknowledge some of the most influential women that are in our community here today. Yeah, hey, I'm so sorry to go through such a traumatic experience on League of Legends. <laughs> I just know that CYC does not tolerate any of this stuff here. CYC is very inclusive. We actually do have a makeup of around 70% women here, so you know, we are very inclusive and uh, diverse here in the CYC as well. And in terms of today's event, we do want to highlight some of the amazing accomplishments that women have done in our communities. And just recognize them, give them a platform to share their experiences with us as well. And we also do want to give a quick shout out to all of our exec teams. So we just have all the exec members of the CYC just come up to the front here and take a quick group photo with us. So I'd like to start off by calling up Rosa Chan to receive her award and give us a couple words of inspiration. So congratulations, Rosa. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Good. 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 Yeah. It's a nice day. Eh? Wow. I am so happy to be here today. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to meet a group of young people who have set the goals and devote all their energy and talent to get there. Congratulations to everyone at CYC particularly to Linda Shen for her leadership. Now today I know I will learn a lot of um, inspiring stories about uh, outstanding women and the uh, accomplishment of uh, CYC. It is also my great honor to receive recognition for my works in the community and what, which would really give me a uh, abundant of, uh, uh, I would say, abundant of uh, satisfaction 
and unbelievable amount of joy. Now, thank you again for choosing me as one of the recipients of the International Women Champion Award. People told me that I have made a significant contribution to the Chinese community, fellow citizens, and Canada. And my commitment and dedication to my business adventures and community service made me stand out as a person who can make a difference in the community. My track record is spearheading and organizing signature events to support non-profit organizations that has made a legacy in my life. But I tell you a secret. No matter what accomplishment I made, somebody helped me. The world is full of good people. If you can't find one, be one. Now, I just want to say, um, CYC, carry on all your good work, and our community is counting on you to, make, to build a better tomorrow. Thank you for having me again. Uh, organized by the youth and about 20 years ago somebody taught me how to do event planning that's Rosa Chen so please give her a round of applause somebody who taught me 20 years ago I now taught hundreds of you or even thousands of you you know from CYC so you know some small thing that you did uh, came a long way thank you so much Rosa and all the executive please come for photo. person that we would like to present the award to is Kiara Elliott. She is the winner of the STEM Entrepreneurship Award. And for a quick like, overview of who she is, she graduated from, the Cal from California State University and is the owner of the Progenics Cord Blood Cycle. Cyro Bank, which is Canada's premier Cyro Bank, and she's been serving Canadians for over 20 years. Uh, would she like to come up and accept her award? giving me this award, but I don't think I deserve it. I'm just doing my best you know, for my job. And I really think that, you know, Linda has done a good job for creating this CYC and then making everyone you know, to learn how to do that. I think you know, she achieved the job. <laughs> Yeah, um, actually, uh, Piela has been mentor me, mentoring me every day, how to think higher, how to help more people, how to think outside the box. So, I'm your mentor and you, she's the mentor of the mentor, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to uh, invite Andrew, our director, to present this award. Uh, Dr. Andrew Shan. Okay. And then I would also like to uh, invite Dr. Ellen Ho, I mean, I can't say Ellen Ho, to the stage. <laughs> so, I'll give the flower. Thank you. Thanks, Ronnie. So, uh, take another good photo over there, okay? Everyone? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next up, we'd like to present the award to Ada Lee. Congratulations, Ada. I would like to say a few words on behalf. Uh, in my opinion, uh, if I am a man, she is the perfect one I want to be. And she will be the wife I want to be, but I am not one. So, she's somebody who still deserves. If you don't know her, I'm not surprised because everybody knows who's Lelo Vance. 
but nobody knows her, and she's the woman behind all this. Okay, I'm very proud to present the award. And uh, yeah, Christina, thank you. Hi, I'm delivering a message on behalf of my mom. Uh, just a few words to share with you all. Um, you know, it's an honor to be here, Linda. Thank you for the recognition to my mom. It means a lot to to us and to our family. But I think the most important thing is that it means a lot to each one of you because what we have done has set history. But the thing is that you are the history of the future. What I've learned from my mom is that gratitude. And, and appreciate every single day and care to details. I think that's a very important thing for us to move forward. So kudos to all of you for being here today for establishing CYC. Congratulations, Linda. And um, yeah, let's take a photo. <laughs> She's enjoyed a lot of success in the fashion industry. Uh, she started her own company. She's done a lot of things that help make the way our community is today. Please give a round of applause. Foyne 多謝參加參加討論做個嘉賓。係。嚇。多謝你。多謝你請我啦。嚇,你博士先工作你再到獲獎啊。其實國際婦女節個三百婦女節就嚟嚟到啦。你一直都係一啲年青人或者大眾一
，你不性格。唔系，我我觉得咧，诶、嗯、诶、呃，最紧要俾个同明姐难学，就系、是、一定要学嘢，乜嘢都要学。诶、呃，因为冇一样嘢我学到咧系唔冇用噶。你你一一生人系好长，好诶咁、呃、样，你唔知几时都要识得做乜嘢，所以样样都要学。我知道有诶诶。呃呃同埋我想话俾你年青人听，嗱我自己系做妈妈，我自己我自己凑大我三个仔，我自己凑大，因为我觉得呢，我系最适合凑大我自己啲仔，所以呢，我冇请人凑佢哋嘅，咁样所以我到今日我同即系我同我啲仔呢好 close， 同埋我啲孙都好好好好亲，呢呢样嘢呢，你你好紧要。有有好多年青人咧，以为你一系做妈妈，一系就出去做嘢，但系两样都做到。啊，李博士呢个亲身体力行真系相当之好啊！你唔单止喺个社会入边好有贡献，而你喺屋企入边都好有贡献，甚至成为你自己家人嘅榜样哦。诶、呃，我我希望咧，因为我觉得诶诶，嗱、呃，就算系因为我有三个仔，我觉得佢哋唔只要读书，佢一定要学家务。所以呢，佢哋个个都好搞得掂嘅，佢哋乜嘢都识做，煮嘢又识，整饼又识，洗衫又识，乜乜嘢家务佢哋都识。因为我觉得呢，呢啲系诶唔止唔止系系女女仔，男仔一定要学呢啲，我叫做 survival skill。好紧要，好紧要。其实李博士头先阿 Linda 都啱讲过，你个好出色嘅时装设计师啊。其实你点样利用你喺艺术创作、创业以至社区公共服务方面嘅经验呢？俾你个城市，我讲呢个城市系多唔多城市，或者整个社会以至成个国家，因为你曾经做过我哋嘅参与，点样可以俾我哋咁多方面一啲裨益同埋贡献咁样呢？诶、呃，我诶，咁、呃、样，我觉得呢，每一样嘢我做，我就要即系个 focus 好紧要。我诶、呃、做时装设计嗰阵时，我哋 focus， 我我我一个礼拜最少做六日，但系我翻到屋企呢，我仲煮饭俾啲细佬哥嘅，俾俾我 family 嘅。哇！咁样诶，好、呃、多人话，点解你你会你会识煮饭？就系、是、因为我我觉得呢，我唔嘥时间。我啲時間呢好緊要，我樣樣呢聽即係好緊要。咁樣誒誒、呃呃，所以呢，如果你有 planning， 即係 time management 係，如果你識點樣誒、呃，即係 manage 你啲時間呢，即係乜嘢都做到。啊！李博士好难得啊！你贡献唔单止喺社区啊、家庭，甚至去到国家层次。其实你当做参议员嘅时候呢，其中好重要嘅成就，将五月定为加拿大嘅亚裔文化月。其实有咩促使你将呢个五月定为亚洲文化月呢、這个咁嘅啊动议，最屘尾成为事实咁样呢？就是、因为我诶、呃，我初初俾诶诶总理委任嗰阵时。诶、um, 诶、uh, ，嗰、那个嘅 appointment officer 话：诶、uh, ，你系要 make history。佢话：咁我话点解呢？佢话：因为喺加拿大历史，从来冇一个亚裔人系诶诶委任去加拿大。咁我我后屘我自己谂下，点解亚裔已经喺加拿大几百年啦？点解系我要等咁耐，然后先我系头一个？咁样我去到参议院咧？我就觉得好紧要，好紧要，一定要即系提高亚裔人嘅诶嘅嘅 profile， 所以我就诶成立诶、呃、我我就诶即系 table 呢个 motion， 诶、嗯、诶、呃呃呃、等到我哋有个亚裔传统月，等到、呃、每年五月咧，我哋亚裔人可以即时自己。即系我哋嘅，我哋嘅 heritage， 我哋 culture， 俾成个国家知道我哋喺事，我哋喺而喺已经喺事几百年，我哋对加拿大嘅贡献。啊，李博士，呢咁嘅行动咧，我谂对而家。
年当今嘅年青人，或者越嚟越多香港或者其他嚟嘅年青人啦，好大启发。欢迎继续收听星期一嘅时事全接触，而家到节目嘅最后一节，电话线上继续有前参议员李德伟博士 d r w i l l i a m p o i 直播室有 CYC 嘅创办人 Linda， 我哋继续讲。李博士得獎嘅經過，阿李博士啊，其實你講咗你一直講話終身要學，而今次你就攞咗個終身貢獻獎啊！你覺得婦女節就嚟嘅嚟嘅時候，喺當今嘅婦女嘅影響同埋重要性有幾大咁樣咧？嗯，呢啲咧，即我自己要誒誒誒，我同人講咧，我就自己都話一定要成個學嘢。如果你唔學嘢咧，你個腦就會退化。嗯、mm-hmm. 我自己已經係年紀好大，但係咧，我日日我都要學新嘢嘅。咁樣誒誒，我就陣時嘅眼好啲咧，我就睇好多書。而家咧就我用 audio book。嗯哼。因為我眼冇咁好啦，咁我一日由朝到晚都聽 audio book 嘅。嗯哼。咁樣除除咗咁樣，我乜嘢我都要學。咁樣所以咧誒。呃所以我我我谂我个脑冇退化，我而家我就嚟八十三岁啦，我个脑仲好清醒。嗯，但系你作为一个杰出嘅女性，你觉得其实而家我哋加拿大社会嘅女性系咪发挥越嚟越大嘅作用，越嚟越大影响嘅？啊，你系一个好典型嘅啊榜样或者一个例子说明啊，其实。成個大眾入邊咧，女性嘅地位係咪就咁提升緊咁樣？特別係國際婦女節嚟嘅時候咧，呢、这個更加值得我哋關心。誒、嗯、誒，誒、呃、婦女嘅誒地位就已經提升咗，但係仲有好多嘢要做。係，仲有好多嘢唔係即係我哋嘅 equality 仲未未搞掂嘅，仲有好多好多嘢要做。所以誒誒誒誒，三月八號嗰日。个个个个妇女都要谂下，我哋仲有啲咩嘢要做？等到个个有即系、就是、有 economy， 喺喺全唔系净系加拿大，全个世界。嗯阿李博士，因為你過去一直無論喺企業、社區以至國家層面都去參與啦，你覺得如果真係仍然存在啲性別不平等嘅時候咧，政府又好，民眾又好，企業又好，或者誒社區組織又好。点样可以消除到或者缓和到呢种嘅不平等咁样呢？即政府咧唔可以，诶、嗯、诶，即、呃、系、就是、政府唔可以话有法律要诶、呃、要样样要平等。诶、呃，咁、呃、政府做咩都好，即系佢个 law 讲咩都好，都要啲人咧要诶、呃、要诶，即、呃、系、就是、社会有要有诶啊诶要有 education。呢啲 education 系好紧要，所以后生嗰一代咧，一定要啊啊，佢、呃、哋、呃、一定要学，应应该佢哋知道，诶、呃，男性女性都要有 equality。嗯哼，阿 Linda， 我知道你通过 C Y C 一直培养紧啲年青人，当中有好多嘅女性。其实你就你观察接触所得，嗰班年轻嘅女性会唔会觉得自己身处环境唔系好平等而极力争取紧咁样咧？我哋而家呢個年代呢，都相對嚟講好啲㗎喇。即係好多啲學生呢，佢哋即係成績各方面都比較好啊。但係女性嚟講呢，相等佢哋自動去話，即係舉手去講嘢，都仲未係男性即係男同學嗰啲同一種囉。所以喺性格各方面嘅培養呢，暫時呢都覺得仲係未到嗰個 level 嘅。咁所以呢，就希望話誒、呃，我哋通過呢啲婦女節啊，或者呢啲宣傳啊，同埋我哋啲咁嘅 role model， 好似尤其是有有 Vivian Poy 呢、這個啊呢、呃這個咁好嘅 role model， 可以俾啲學生覺得，哇！我做設計師又得，即係我 art 可以好勁，我 business 可以好勁，我亦都可以誒喺、呃、government 嗰方面都可以為我哋嘅 community 即係有發聲咁樣嘅。所以就係話，唔單止係女性啊、呃，小朋友都要開始由呢方面就開始出發咁咯。啊，李博士，你覺得今次 CYC 頒俾呢個終身貢獻獎，同埋你一九九六年喺大多士市會入入邊咧頒發個國際婦女節獎俾你，你覺得喺婦女節就嚟嘅時候，你係咪可以透過自己顯示俾大家知，大家所有女性要動員起嚟，大家向上嘅話，將女性地位慢慢提升，你會唔會覺得你自己本身所做或者過去嘅成就係有顯示緊呢樣嘢，俾年青嘅婦女有一個學習嘅？方法咁样咧，系
，我就覺得呢，因為我一世，我想做咩嘢，我自己話俾自己聽，我得嘅，我要做，我就要做到。嗯、所以而家年輕人，誒、呃呃、尤其是女性，最緊要話 ，yes I can， 你想做咩，一定要做到。咁樣你好緊要，好緊要，唔好話哦，有啲咩難嘅。就即刻停，有几艰难。如果你行直路行唔通，你就要转弯，自己要行得到。嗯哼，即系话自己起码有信心添，自己睇得起自己。如果系咁嘅时候，对住一班香诶呢度嘅年青人，或者越嚟多香港，我哋都系香港嚟啊。对住一啲越嚟多嚟嘅香港年青人，你会俾佢哋乜嘢鼓励、咩劝勉？最重最重要系把握边方面呢？诶、呃，佢哋唔只要读书，唔只要样样要学，佢哋一定要诶诶，识同诶第啲族裔人交流，呢样系好紧要。诶、呃、要越多朋友，你就越容易做嘢。所以咧，一定要识交朋友。你诶诶、呃呃，我自己诶话俾年年轻人听，诶、呃、最紧要咧，你要去 volunteer。你去 volunteer 唔系净系诶诶华人嗰啲社区，你去 volunteer 好多第啲族裔人，你唔止学识好多嘢，你又交到好多朋友，你唔知几时乜嘢朋友，你有朋友佢可以帮你。嗯哼，李博士讲得好，我哋加拿大一个多元族裔嘅社会同国家，如果真系要融入我哋加拿大社会嘅时候咧，换招住李博士所讲，唔可以限于自己嘅环圈子，一定要走出去，同各个族裔入边互相交流，系咪咁样咧？系系，因为咧，我自己点解做到嘢出嚟咧？就系、是、因为我好识同诶各种诶即系第啲族裔人做朋友，我有好多朋友系咩嘢族裔都有嘅。呢样系好紧要，好紧要。Mm-hmm. 你咁样咧，你做嘢容易好多。Mm-hmm. 好似好似嗰阵时，嗰、那个诶嗰、uh, 个 motion， 诶、uh, 诶、uh, Asian Heritage Month motion。如果我唔系咁多人帮我咧，一唔会 pass 嘅。嗱、mm-hmm. ，而家已经亚裔文化越已经成立咗啦。到最后我哋要两半分钟，俾一啲年轻人一个最大忠告，会系乜嘢？两半分钟。诶、uh,。诶、uh, ，我我最紧要就系你要 proud of your heritage。嗯。诶诶，我哋系亚裔人，我哋一定要，我哋我哋系加拿大公民，但系一定要有 proud of heritage、okay.。Proud of where we come from。李博士今晚好多谢分享，亦都俾咗年青人好多意见，同埋好多诶劝勉。我哋希望有机会再请李博士上个节目分享下其他意见。我哋同听众讲拜拜啦，拜拜。Bye bye. Our next winner, Doris Chan. She is actually the vice chair of Montreal Foundation, and unfortunately, she is not able to join us today. But we do want to recognize her support to our organization and her accomplishments as a woman in general in the community. She has been with Montreal Foundation for over thirty years and has dedicated a ton of her time to serving the community. So we really do appreciate that and would like to recognize that. So a round of applause, please. To receive the award is Emily Wong. She is currently the vice president of the Chinese Cultural Center of Greater Toronto.、Uh, can you please come up to accept your award? Please give her a warm round of applause. <clears throat> thank you for giving me the award, which is a surprise to me.、Um, so thank you, lady.、Um, I'm thinking, although I'm aging, right? But my heart has always kept young because、um, throughout my volunteer life, I have always been doing、uh, programs with young people and youth. Like、um, I, I'm now the VP of、uh, CCC, and actually I'm working on a few programs to、uh, to try to offer education to younger students in in the community. On Chinese culture and cross cultures. So,、um, also I'm trying to uh, uh, launch some Mandarin programs, Mandarin classes for non-Chinese、uh, students too. So, 
uh, for the uh, well, well, for the university uh, alumni association, we have some a lot of newcomers actually from Hong Kong. Uh, they are just um, they're just right from universities actually. So I think they are part of the new forces here in Canada, in Toronto. So you know uh, we are trying to uh, merge merge them into this society and into their workforces and into the volunteers' work to the drug community too. Um, before that, I was involved um, actually with some uh, programs on uh, a platform for uh, contests for uh, Chinese cultures like uh, uh, like drawings, uh, recitals for high school and primary schools. Um, that was the old days. Uh, I think about 20, 30 thousands of students' entries um, went through that. And also, yeah, this is something that kept me young at heart and I can always see the potentials and the fires in the young people's heart that how much they could do and how much potential they have and talents they have and we really look looking forward to um, all the all young people like you to help us old people in the future. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. seeing the representation here and congratulations once again Yuan. Gowai好。首先喺呢度祝各位新年快樂,身體健康。啊,今日我嘅英文係有限公司,所以我只能夠用粵語同各位講說話。我是從事粵曲粵劇的寫作 So I'm going to translate, okay? She is, how do you know, uh, guess how old is she now? Get a number. 30 years old, okay. <laughs> Triple. She's 98 years old. Ooh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> As you know, um, the CYC has a big, a big part of the program is STEM and entrepreneurship, STEM and arts. So her word is about arts. Um, she has been being a, a Cantonese opera artist for over 50 years. So let's give her a long applause. Thank you, congratulations. So let's go and help her. Oh, <laughs> Okay, good photo. Cool, cool.
across the roof without precedent. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very privileged to be here today. Uh, actually, there are many, many more deserving international women's uh, accomplishment that would deserve this much more than I. I'm just a very humble worker. I stay very low key in the community and I just give back. The reason why I'm giving back is because I came here as an early immigrant first generation immigrant, I started at the very bottom. My professional, uh, well, degrees were not recognized in Canada, so I had to start at the beginning, at the very, very bottom, which I did not care, because, well, coming to a new country, you have your challenges, you have to be, have to, in the right mindset that it's not going to be a stale a picnic in the park. So this is what I think is important for the new immigrants to understand. And we all went through those stages. When I first met our beautiful, capable, and very accomplished Linda, she was your age, young people's age. And of course, she has blossomed into a very well-known, hardworking, and very accomplished individual, which is the pride and joy of our community. Let's give her a understand that her life story wasn't easy either, so I fully understand. But when she started the CYC, I think that was such a wonderful thing. Why? Because the young people are our future, our tomorrow. Without all of you there, bringing the bringing in the hope and everything that we aspire in Canadian society. I think we have no more hope. So we rely on you. And I think that as you go off, how many of you are going to Cambridge in the summer? I'm going. You're going, yeah. And any more of you? When you go, people will look at you because most of you are visible minorities. It's not a very nice term to use. However, this is a fact. People will look at you, they see how you dress, how you, your manner, how you speak, how you enunciate your words, and everything you do, people will watch and see, and evaluate, unfortunately. So I would like to share with you my gift to CYC before the summer is I will give you a personal, um, let's say, workshop free to learn about how to present yourself in a different world. And the British world, I understand, I'm fourth generation, British subject from Hong Kong. I know what it's like in a very, you know, a society which they put people in different categories. I want you to be the most outstanding, to be the pride and joy of Canada and the pride and joy of Canadian youth. So Linda, take my word for it. I'd be very, very glad to give them a free workshop. So thank you for this award, and I'm sure many more deserving people than myself.
We're going to take one more photo and then we can do something a little bit more lively. <laughs> Hello, hello, Joseph. <laughs> 